Let's work problem 38 from OpenStax University of Physics, chapter 8. A 100 kilogram man is keen across level ground at a speed of 8 meters per second when he comes to the small slope 1.8 meters higher than ground level uh, shown in the following figure. If the skier coasts up the hill, what is the speed when he reaches the top plateau? Assume friction between the snow and skis is negligible. Part B. What is the speed when he reaches the upper level if an 80 newton frictional force acts on the skis? Okay, so what we need to consider is that the energy will be conserved for, for part A since there are no frictional losses to be considered there. So we are going to have that the initial energy of the skier would be equal to one half mv zero squared. So his initial energy will be equal to one half times one hundred kilograms times eight meters per second squared. That gives me thirty two hundred joules. Okay, well, this energy will be conserved, so E zero has to be equal to E final. E final will be the kinetic energy of the man at the top of the slope. plus the potential energy uh, he has acquired. Therefore we would have that 3200 joules must be equal to one half times 100 kilograms times his final velocity squared plus again his mass times gravity times the height of 1.8 meters okay this number here will be 100 times 9.8 times 1.8 which is 1764 and this number on the left is going to be 50 times the final velocity squared. So then I'm going to have 3200 joules minus 1764 is 436 joules. And that is equal to 50 kilograms times the final velocity squared. So I just divide and take a square root. So my final velocity is going to be 1436 divided by 50. Take the square root in meters per second will be my final velocity. as equal to the square root of 28.72 which gives me 5.359 meters per second so 
then I can say v equals let's say 5.4 would be the final answer for part A. Now for part B, I am to assume that there are frictional losses and I am given the force of friction which is 80 newtons so I don't have to worry about uh, figuring it out out of a coefficient of friction in a normal force. So. All I need to consider is that the work done by friction will subtract from the energy that the skier started with. That is, E0 has to be equal to uh, the final kinetic energy plus the final potential energy plus the work that is done against friction. You already know what the final kinetic energy form will be, which is this form, one half mv final squared. We know the form of the potential energy, which is going to be mgh, and the form of the work lost to friction will be the displacement times the force, because the displacement and the force are parallel. F that x will be equal to f times x and here the displacement x will be equal to 8 meters so then I have the initial energy 3200 joules has to be equal to the final kinetic energy which will be 1 half times 100 times the final velocity squared plus mgh which in this case will be 1764 joules as we found in the previous problem plus the force which is 80 newtons times the displacement which is 8 meters now 80 newtons times 8 meters is 640 joules. So I am going to have 3200 minus 1764 minus 640 joules has to be equal to 50 times the final velocity squared. So let's calculate that. 3200 minus 1764 minus 640 is equal to 796 joules is equal to 50 kilograms times my final velocity squared and so all I have to do is divide by the 50 kilograms and take the square root so my final velocity will be equal to 796 divided by 50 square root in meters per second which will be equal to 3.99 meters per second. I guess if we're doing uh, two significant figures, we can round that off to 4.0.
No. I guess the box is not going to work today. I hope that helped.